From California State University, San Bernardino, it's Local Matters. Biggest attractions in art history. Hello, I'm Evan Bates, and welcome to Local Matters, featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. And I'm Arlene Armstrong. The city of Las Vegas is known as a popular vacation getaway for many people in the Inland Empire. Reporter Nicole Esposito dropped into the middle of Vegas life and gave us a glimpse into what attracts so many people to this destination. The lights, the shows, the nightlife. People come from all over to visit Vegas. It's one of the world's most visited places. The newly wedded couple from Ireland shared their excitement of visiting Sin City. This is the best place in the world. William Copsey, a local resident, shared his favorite part of Vegas. The Strip, definitely. Just, I mean, you can always meet new people that are from out of town, and it's always fun, and there's always something going on. The Bellagio Fountain was created in 1995 by casino developer Steve Wynn and representatives from Wet Design. Located on Las Vegas Boulevard, one of the most breathtaking attractions lies in the heart of the Strip. You may dance the night away in Vegas, but you'll still marvel at the moves at the Fountain's Water Show. Although it's not his first time in Sin City, William Copsey gave us some advice for first-time Vegas goers. Uh, I've lived in Vegas my whole life. If you've never been to Vegas, you have to come to Marquee Las Vegas um, and ask for William Copsey. I'll help you out with anything you need. A bridal party stopped for a quick moment during their bachelorette scavenger hunt to tell us how they felt about Vegas. We love Vegas! <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So the next time you're planning a vacation, head to the City of Sin for all your fun. For Local Matters, I'm Nicole Esposito. The Robert and Francis Fullerton Museum of Art has accumulated a collection of an estimated 1,200 objects focusing on ceramics, ancient, and contemporary art. Reporter Connor Armaya recently visited the museum. Art and history are two major building blocks of our culture. We're here at the RAF Museum to see what they have to offer in these two fields. Event coordinator Paige Taylor explains to us the content of monthly art displays. The monthly art lectures are uh, when we invite um, a speaker, perhaps an art history professor or a curator. We invite them to come to the museum and speak for about an hour on the current work on display or another topic that we think might be of interest to our students and to the public. They usually show slides of work or something to accompany their um, talk. And then we have a question and answer period afterwards. RAFMA director Eva Kerr shares with us her thoughts on why she thinks art is important to society. We learn a lot and you know once we get hooked on, on it we cannot quit but it really opens our minds and hearts and does a lot of things to us so I think it's really important. You know it's not necessary and many people don't understand how important art is but once you kind of cross the line and, and start enjoying it then you cannot quit because Every step you make, and the more you learn, you actually want to learn more. That's really the importance of the arts, that they open our mind. The Raft Museum is home to the largest collection of authentic Egyptian artifacts in Southern California. For Local Matters, I'm Connor Amaya. To keep updated with Local Matters, please visit our Facebook and YouTube page. I'm Arlene Armstrong. And I'm Evan Bates. Join us next time for more local stories that matter.